Introduction How to Stop Drinking Alcohol It is hard to believe that we can live without alcohol. Alcohol is used to relieve stress, to entertain us in times of boredom and to comfort us in times of grief, but alcohol is still a poison to be avoided. When you were a child, you didn't need alcohol to enjoy life. If you get back to that mindset, it will be easier for you to stop drinking alcohol. In this book, you will learn why is it hard to stop drinking, how to reevaluate these beliefs about alcohol, why do we drink alcohol, what are the harmful effects of alcohol on your body, what if my loved ones won't accept that I quit drinking, how do I stop drinking alcohol. Our answers to these questions are easy to understand, simple to implement and quick to execute, ready to stop drinking alcohol. Let's go. Why is it hard to stop drinking? You probably have a good reason for wanting to stop drinking. Maybe you're tired of waking up hungover. Maybe you want to lose weight, or maybe you want to save your wallet. But despite your willpower, when it runs out, you can't resist the temptation. You are in a state of cognitive dissonance, which is when your brain is in conflict with your conscious and unconscious parts. Consciously, you want to stop drinking, but unconsciously, your experience has taught you that alcohol is good for you. For example, it helps you relax because you have seen your parents or movie characters do it. So, by reevaluating your beliefs about alcohol, you can more easily get rid of your urge to drink alcohol. How do you reevaluate these beliefs about alcohol? We think we drink alcohol because it tastes good. But the first time you drank alcohol, you probably didn't like it. In general, we don't like the taste of things that can harm us, like spoiled food. And yet, today we have accepted that taste because we have been exposed to it so much that we no longer feel it. Now that this first experience has been recalled, would it be more accurate to say that you don't drink alcohol for the taste or that alcoholic beverages don't taste good? So, for each belief you have about alcohol, remember what you thought about it the first time and then you can update your belief. Why do we drink alcohol? When we start drinking a glass of alcohol, it releases dopamine in our brain. Also called the happy hormone, it makes us feel good and makes us want to continue drinking alcohol. At the same time, our brain is trying to rebalance itself because it has been artificially stimulated. So you fall back into the state you were in before, or even worse than before you drank. At this point, it is obvious to you to take another drink. By giving up alcohol, you break out of this artificial happiness and vicious cycle. What are the harmful effects of alcohol on your body? Like most drinkers, you drink to relax, unwind or distress. But when you think about it, does drinking really relax you? In reality, alcohol only relieves your stress. But the real way to get rid of stress is to address the source of the tension. Besides, between the consequences of a hangover and potential conflicts with your drunken loved ones, the truth is that alcohol increases the stress in your life. And this is confirmed from a physiological standpoint. When your body tries to counteract the effects of alcohol, it releases stress hormones called cortisol and adrenaline. Since it takes a week for your body to release these hormones, if you are a regular drinker then you will have higher stress levels. What if my family and friends won't accept that I quit drinking? When you want to stop drinking, your loved ones may not take you seriously. This behavior is usually due to fear. In addition to questioning your own drinking, if you stop drinking, your loved one will be afraid that you will stop seeing her because your relationship could potentially change. So when you tell your loved one that you are quitting alcohol, go easy on them. Just say you're taking a 30-day break because you drank so much last month. Finally, without alcohol, it is easier to create a deep relationship with someone because it is easier to express your thoughts. How do you stop drinking alcohol? It's hard to imagine that you'll stop drinking for good. Start with a 30-day challenge. Then, if you succeed, try 60 days and so on. If you stay sober for long periods of time, it will be easier to envision a future without alcohol. And if it's your first time, it's very likely that you won't make it to the end and that's okay. For example, if you used to drink alcohol every night and you managed to stay alcohol-free 25 out of 30 days, your success rate is 84%, which is already very good. Congratulate yourself. Finally, if you are afraid of falling back into alcohol, set some non-negotiable rules for yourself. For example, never buy alcohol in a supermarket again. Conclusion It is entirely possible to live an alcohol-free life by thinking about why you drink, what it means to you and what it does to your life, your physical health your mental health and your relationship. It will be easier for you to take control of your drinking and challenge yourself to 30 days of abstinence and then quit drinking for good. If you like the summary, click on one of our partner links to discover the alcohol experiment. A 30-day, alcohol-free challenge to interrupt your habits and help you take control by Annie Grace in ebook, book or audiobook format. And if you're not interested in reading further, we recommend you discover the unexpected joy of being sober. Discovering a happy, healthy, Wealthy, Alcohol-Free Life by Catherine Gray Introduction How to Get Sober It's hard to believe that living a sober life isn't about giving up pleasure but simply giving up alcohol. Yet discover how sobriety can make you happier and more fulfilled. 
In this book, you will learn, what should you expect from sobriety? What are the negative effects of alcohol? Does even moderate drinking have harmful effects? Why doesn't society recognize the dangers of alcohol? How to develop self-confidence without alcohol? How can you build your social life around sobriety? How can I stop making alcohol the only solution to my problems? How can I find love while sober? Our answers to these questions are easy to understand, simple to implement and quick to execute. Ready to get sober? Let's go!